Hello. If you're already sitting, maybe even laying down, maybe you're even still in bed. Out, up. So one of the best ways to start any kind of like sitting, contemplative or breath practice is just a little bit of mild movement to the body. And especially if it's the beginning of the day for you, but even it doesn't have to be limited to that, like it's the middle of the day for me. And this moves the energy. And those of you who have been here in the last year or two will definitely have done this with me. And uh, I started bringing it in because I would pretty much get up very early in the morning and do this myself in the bathroom, followed by Nowly, usual bathroom stuff, and then go sitting, getting into all the practices. So the time came to share, and now I'm sharing it across the world digitally here. So what am I doing? Hopefully you can see everything. I'm just up on my toes, and there's no tension in any part of my body. I'm just bouncing, which basically engages the calf muscle, which is one of the vital pumps to the lymphatic system. So, great uh, lymphatic, you might call that stimulation, and especially after a night uh, uh, in bed, hopefully asleep, where uh, the body itself is cleansing out and it's uh, if you're feeling sluggish lower energy there's a good chance for your own lymphatic flow functioning is slow and there's way more fluid passes through the lymph system that sort of uh, waste removal uh, fluid system of the body way more volume wise than uh, there is blood volume wise passing through the body okay so anyway i've started like this one of the uh, positives is you get really nicely defined calf muscles. Hmm. And then we go wider. So now I've got a, like a what I'd call a, you know, in sort of martial arts, it's the horse stance, etc. And I'm just getting a little bounce in here. And so this is more the upper legs, and it's it's going to be an alternation between um, glutes, quads, hamstrings. Okay? And they kind of work opposing each other. Right? But I just bounce. And again, this is mild, very low impact. First thing, or almost first thing in the morning. And really perfect in the bathroom. Okay, assuming you have enough space in your bathroom. Okay, works in my bathroom. Okay, so here I'm bouncing. And then we're going to let uh, movement at the wrists. Okay, and basically, I, if you take a look where my hands are, they're in front of the lower abdomen. Have I ever referred to that area? That is the zone of Hatta. I can engage Udiana or the Mula, you know, the activity of the pelvic lower abdominal muscles, right? But here we are more in an energetic sense. And then I move up to the heart. I always call this the Italian version because it's like um, either greeting or cursing in Italian. Okay, Lord. And then I go up to the brain level. Very clearing. If we understand, okay, you know, the physical body extends, or not really, the energetic body extends beyond this physical form, you know, all, all you have to do to assess that is to go really close to somebody, closer in the area that, where my hands are moving now, and you will feel that as a, almost like a personal invasion, okay? So here you are in the three, what I would call practice zones. Hatta zone, down below the navel, up to the heart, devotional, you know, some call bhakti, but anyway, it's heart opening, okay? And in a way, this is where buddhi, higher intelligence is, this is where the uh, Ishwara Pranidhana takes its form or effect. And then up here, buddhi has to work up here, clear that brain, clear that mind, see things, understand things, yes. And then at the very least, here I am bouncing, and woo, now I just feel the vibration. Oh yes, turn the palms. And I often visualize like I'm standing in water up to my waist, and I'm gliding the palms over that water and then we take it into more like a windmill okay so you're moving across the shoulder joint okay more or less 
360 rotation across your shoulder joints. See? And again, it's low impact. And then you're holding the horse stance and you're just letting these arms flow. Okay? Now, if you see when my arms come up, the palm is pulled down. Elephant palm, the way an elephant's trunk reaches out or reaches out, but it tips the end of it to take your gift. Your banana. Good. And it's just, ah, oh, very... Unfortunately, I don't have somebody giving me a massage every day, so I do some very uh, body tuning, conditioning, uh, almost self-massaging activities like this, low impact. Okay, now obviously I'm spending a bit of time at it, explaining it, and you could do this much shorter time than now. Now, over the shoulders. So it's one and the other. Ah. And then free double cross movement. I like to rotate the arms so the palms shift. When you're doing this, you're breathing calmly through the nose. Okay? And then the last one is double elephant palm. And I really feel a shoulder blade scapulae movement right there on the upper part of the back. Uh, feels very um, relieving, satisfying. Maybe you've worked where you have to sit in front of a computer, type, hunch over, whatever it might be, you know. Majority of people do not keep good posture regardless of what they're doing. So you could break it up, be it through the day or starting your day like this, with just some of these movements. What I've spent a few minutes on now, you could actually get to know it well and then bang, 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 you knock it out in a minute or two. And then I like to add on at the end into what we might call more um, simple, you know, low impact squats like that. And I emphasize keeping the breath calm through the nose. People that uh, misinterpret their breath, they start going, <laughs> right? And then you actually over breathe and you mess up. You just mess up, you know, your inner, um, uh, you could say, uh, cellular uh, chemical environment because you've over breathed. You actually weaken yourself. So here we are, and I've got some resistance to the breath through the nose. Again, how many you do? You know, 11, 10 or 11 could be enough. You can also add in this one. But as I have a few microphones on me, maybe the sound of this comes out loud, so I will stop. Good, come up, bring your feet in a bit. Rub your hands. Normally I'm not wearing a watch, but you know, you can go up and down the arms. You can go up and down the legs couple of times, cross the feet. You can go from the kidneys through, across the abdomen into the heart. A few times of that. You can also, if we're making our way to the heart, come down. Put your hands over your heart center for a moment and just be tuned in. Ah. What a way to start a day, tuned into your own heart. Very nice. And then one more. Over your eyes. Of course, when you're doing this again on your own, spend more time rubbing your palms. And it's nice to massage your, one of your best facials over your face. And off. And all that is really just a couple of minutes. I've just added in uh, explanation through it. You don't need